Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and finally after a couple of months off we are back riding trails again So I'm super excited. Chev's excited. It's gonna be crazy wet. It's been raining for weeks here So we're about to go hit the boundary line trail up into the Wadigans. Come along for the ride. This one's gonna be awesome Let's just um, be cautious of the water. Hang on, your straps all around here, dude. There's going to be some big puddles we, that we don't want to go through, okay? Okay. The little ones are okay, the ones that you say. Yep. The ones that... Just smaller ones. You know what you're looking at now, mate. Yeah. Um, and then um, lots of standing for bumps. Yeah? Yeah. Got to get off your butt, all right? And if there's little humps, like jumps, yep. lean back. Yeah, get your butt back a little bit, get yeah, the weight off the front wheel. Go. That's right. Yep. Like yeah, man. Let's do it. Do it. Dude, you were ripping. That was so fast, man. Well done. Did that feel fun? Yeah. You're riding so good, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, man. That was incredible, Chevy. That was amazing.
okay? What happened there, mate? Did he catch you? This bad boy. That bad boy. Get Ooh. rid of him. Get are you, rid of him. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Of course I am. Yeah, yeah. No. You can't stop now, mate. You're committed. You've got to go. Up the top, mate. Hey, you good? Sick. Dude, great riding. Still on three lights? Yeah. Look at all these cobwebs around me. No one's been up here, eh? No. No dirt bikes, anyway. No dirt bikes, so Yeah, I think heaps of four drives have been up here. Yeah, cobwebs are They do like it wet, yeah. Uh-huh. Alright, take it easy through here mate. Steep and slippery. Slow, lots of standing. Both brakes. Control it. Oh, oh, get your butt back mate. This one here on the right. Bit, and you sort of got to boost up that look, that small rock. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, dude, you nearly got that. No, slow, ready, and go. Well done. Where are you thinking? You got a line? Oh, in that crack right there. Oh, whoa, good one. <laughs> really good attempt, dude. Grab your brakes. Grab your brakes. Yep. Get settled. Get your body position right. Nice and smooth, okay? Go. Ready? Yeah. Good. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness, Chevy. Well done, dude. That is so sick. That is so good. Yeah, my turn. This is getting properly challenging. Chevy's getting proper good. You ready? Yeah. Oh man. 
that is crazy. I'm, we haven't ridden up here for probably six months, right? This stuff is steep. It doesn't look it on the GoPro. It never does. But it's steep, and today it's slippery, wet, and Chevy is just chewing it up like it's nothing. I, 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 I haven't, he's never come up here this far. Like, no way here. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Taking the trail on the left up here, okay? Just here. Slow down. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here. Cut trick. What's that route? Well done. could take you up that up that little gully. Ah, uh, not heaps, Mewers is just up here. Alright, hey guys, we are halfway through our ride. This is one of our favorite little stops to get some water and take a breather. Um, Chevy is absolutely ripping up these trails. I don't know. He's obviously taken a big leap in his ride in the last couple of months. It's been maybe six months since we've been up here. Um, he knows the trails pretty well, but he's never ridden them up this fast. It's pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, just a beautiful afternoon out, bit of father-son time, riding some trails. There's no one around up here, and we're just like, look, it's beautiful, right? Oh, I love it. I love where we live. It's just an amazing spot. Anyway, more riding. Hold up. Don't want to rush this. I know you can do it, but there's some tricky bits. You can see where the guys have been going over here, eh? Under it. That, that hole there. Yeah, the hole in the rock. Yep. So up that one and through that gap. Yeah. Wait. This here? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Up there. Where are you going to come? Here somewhere? Oh, Jeffy, that's the biggest step there. No, you're gonna have to roll back further and hit it harder. That's, yeah, dude. Oh, man. Take it easy up there. Yep, that's it. Just one little section at a time, okay? That's it. Now, stop, stop. Sit your bum back further on the seat to get more traction. Yes. Okay, let me give you a hand. That's a big one. Slow. Dude. Amazing. This is, it's, it's not the steps, but we call it the steps. It's not officially the steps in Wadigan terms, but it's a series of these rock ledges heading up to our lookout. Um, it's a pretty famous four wheel drive line. If you know the Wadigans, all the dirt bikes come through here. It's a pretty famous spot. Um, it's pretty cool. It's challenging. Let me tell you that much. Oh, I see. Sneaky line. Not too fast, mate, not too fast. Nice and easy.
Yep. Don't stop there. That's a bad spot to stop. Yes. Oh. Now, from there, dude, roll back a little bit and boost it up. <laughs> Your legs are just a little bit short. All right, stop. Come back. Daddy's got you. All right, now. Nice and smooth and all the way up. You ready? Yeah. Nope. Go. Yes. Excellent work, my man. Dude, that was really cool. Uh oh. <laughs> My bike's just stuffed up. So, these bikes have a sensor when you lay them over. And this thing was giving me trouble a while ago, and now I've done it again. I've laid it over, it's got a fallover sensor, and now it's tripping out. This is going to take me a minute. How come you don't have the head? Headlight plugged in. I don't know. I think I broke it. So, we're sitting here having our snack because my shoe run has just stopped. It's done this to us before and it's left us very high and very dry. We've had some big walkouts. And what it is, it's something to do with laying it over. There's a layover sensor. Yeah. Was, there is a layover sensor in there. But I was sure I took it out. So, I don't know. We'll take it out when we get home. It could be the hall sensor too. What's the hall sensor? The hall sensor is a little sensor that basically tells the brain that the motor's spinning. Or vice versa. And I did get water in them quite a while ago and um, we replaced the motor in the black bike I think anyway right now our destination is 500 meters up that hill where we're trying to get to we have done let's see how many k's we've done we've done about seven k's up so that means we got seven k's down um and if we had to walk this out oh, those numbers changing uh the time the time what time it is yeah so if we have to walk this out it's 5 30 in the evening right now it would take us a few hours just because of the terrain um so we don't want to do that. What's that? What are those big numbers? So this is what we're looking at. This is what Chevy's looking at. Time, distance. Yeah. What anyway. Those two, those big ones. That's the um, average speed. So anyway, we're going to sit here for a minute because this thing does fix itself with time, which I know is super weird, but it does. So we're going to sit here, have a How snack. After a little while. Because when I've taken it home after it's done this and park it up for a day, I come back to it and it's perfectly fine. It's weird. I don't know. Anyway, fingers crossed, this thing starts. All right, the bike is dead. My little trick of leaving it for a little while, amazingly, hasn't worked. So, um, walking out. We got seven Ks of hiking this thing out. It's going to be an absolute mission. So, yeah. Yeah. So, this is me pushing my bike seven Ks home. Hmm. This bike, it's not the first time it's done this to me. I love this bike. I really don't enjoy pushing it.
your bike working? Lucky. Is there a rescue truck? Hey! We got rescue! Yeah. All right, so we made it back to where we started. Uh, so where we started, here's my buddy Brady's house. His property backs onto the Wadigans. Um, so we use it to get access up into some of the good trails. Um, so luckily for me, when the bike died, I sent a message to, um, to a couple of my buddies and Brady was literally just pulling into his driveway here at home. He's in his Hilux, knows the bush really well um, and was able to shoot up and pick us up which has saved me probably a three hour hike out, I reckon, pushing a bike. So yeah, real grateful. Thank you, Brady, you are the man, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, and gotta get this thing fixed. It's done it to me before. Um, I love it, I truly love it, but um, yeah, can't have that happening. All right, anyway guys, if you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel when you guys do that. Leave a comment below if there's anything you wanna see us do more of or do less of or less talking or more talking. I don't know why you'd want that, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. Hit subscribe and click the little dingy bell so you get a notification when we put a new video up. Cool, big thank you to all our sponsors. Keep watching guys, lots of love. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you hit subscribe. <laughs>